So I understand with this type of video, it's going to piss off a lot of you men. The reason being is because I've noticed that when it comes to making videos where you talk about your experience when it comes to women and experiencing the positive and delightful treatment that they will give you because you become a handsome and attractive man, because you put in the work, you do the looks maxing, you dial in your physique and you practice body game, I've noticed that the men who don't experience these delightful treatments from women are usually the men who want to act very feminine in my comment section. They claim that they're masculine because they spam approach a bunch of women and get rejected and they think that's something to be proud of. And these are the same masculine men who are going to come to my comment section and get upset at me because I receive the type of attention and affection that they wish they could receive. But if you are not those type of men, which I call those the jokers, right? Those are like the jokers. They're, those are the clowns. But for my titans, for the men who understand that you can level up your looks, you can become the most handsome, attractive version of yourself to the point where you do not have to cold approach if you don't want to. But instead, you can actually attract beautiful women to you once you dial in your looks and your overall physical image. So if you are that type of man, if you are that type of man that is willing to do what it takes to self-improve and be able to attract amazing opportunities like beautiful women coming to you, then I would highly suggest that you stay throughout this entire video because I'm going to be breaking down the 12 signs that women find you more attractive than you think you are. So before we hop into the video, if you do want to level up your looks, if you want to maximize your looks and you want to start attracting more beautiful, attractive women to you consistently, predictably, and reliably on autopilot, like how I've been able to help other men do this exact same thing, maximizing their looks and having a thriving and abundant dating life by having beautiful women come to them on autopilot, then I would highly suggest that you check out my free training linked down below in the description and the pinned comment where I'm going to be breaking down more in depth when I'm going to go over in today's video. I'm going to be breaking it down a lot more in depth, a lot more strategic and revealing secrets and frameworks that I haven't shared on this YouTube channel. So again, check that out after this video. So with that being said, we have 12 different signs and ways that women find you more attractive than you think of yourself. So let's go ahead and let's hop into the first one. So number one, women will give you direct compliments with no hesitation or ego if they find you attractive, right? And this can happen in many different ways. This can happen if they cold approach you, if they DM you first on social media, maybe they reply to a story and they give you like hard eyes or say how attractive you are. Or let's say you posted like a shirtless pic after the gym and you have a pump going. They talk about how, you know, how muscular you are or something like that. Or they may just message you first on dating apps and say something like, hey, handsome. They'll also do this while you two are on a date or just hanging out. So if you're actually seeing a girl, you're going on a date with her, especially if you're going on a date with her for the first time, you'll see that women that are very into you, they will have no problem complimenting you. They'll compliment you on your best physical features like your face or your body or both if you're looks maxing and practicing body game or they'll talk about your outfit, your teeth, or if you have nice white teeth or how you have a nice smile. They'll maybe compliment you on your hairstyle or your haircut or how nicely trimmed and maintained your beard is, etc. They will find things that they can point out to you physically that they'll compliment you on, which obviously demonstrates to you that they find you physically attractive. So if girls are saying these type of things, if they are giving you direct compliments, with no hesitation and no ego behind it, they definitely think you are an attractive man and you're more attractive than the type of men that they are used to seeing in person. So that's number one. Number two, women will do double takes at you and subtly gasp because of how attractive you are. So let's say like you walk into an establishment like a restaurant, a grocery store, a bar, club, party, social gathering, etc. You'll literally see women who will give you double takes and slightly gasp at the sight of you because they weren't expecting to see a handsome and attractive man like yourself or a handsome and attractive man that you can become if you're not there yet, but you are putting in the work because you are a Titan. Again, put hashtag Titan gang down below if you are a Titan, right? They will do this because like I said in the first point, they're not used to seeing handsome and attractive men in person. And that's the thing, you guys always hear other dudes in this space talk about how women have all these options, but the thing is, women, they have more quantity of options than men, but most of those options aren't quality. 
And when it comes to the physical aspect of things, the quality is definitely not there. So that's why you're going to see women do double takes when they look at you and they see you come into the establishment for the first time because they're not used to seeing men that look like you, right? Especially if they find you strikingly more attractive than what they're used to seeing. So like you not only meet their attraction threshold, but you far exceed it to the point where you just have this look about you to where you're going to, in a sense, be like a showstopper where a lot of people are going to stop and stare at you or glance at you. Like overall, you're going to be able to attract more attention to you. Once you put in the work, you level up and you become the most handsome and attractive version of yourself. You're going to see that women are going to act like this. Not all men are going to be able to command such type of attention, but you will be able to get women to make double takes at you and just be in disbelief that they see a handsome and attractive man before their eyes because Believe it or not, contrary to popular belief, there's not many handsome and attractive men out there like that really take care of themselves. So just keep that in mind that you're going to see women making double takes at you. I had this happen to me last week when I went to Chipotle. I saw a girl look at me look back at her coworker, look at me again, and then look back at her coworker. So that told me right there that she found me attractive and they're not really good at being subtle with it. They try their best, right? But for someone like myself, who, who I, I try my best to be aware of my surroundings, I'm always people watching and I'm always seeing how people are just moving, just moving and just doing what they do just because again i'm always people watching i'm trying to be observant that's just how i was raised so i'll be able to pick up on stuff like that pretty easily and spot it very quickly so those are just some of the things that women will do as well They're, those are going to be a little bit more subtle you just have to keep an eye out for these type of things but that should tell you that you are a handsome and attractive man in their eyes so that was number two moving on to number three so women are going to be nice sweet and friendly towards you. So I'm going to say something that is, is going to piss a lot of dudes off, but a lot of the times the reason why men go through all these horror stories when it comes to women and female nature, part of it is because they just don't have their looks dialed in. Women women don't find you attractive, bro. Not yet. And, and I'm saying that on purpose to anger some of the dudes who are going to be hating and stuff like that. But also, I'm doing that to motivate the men who are willing to put in the work, who are willing to make that positive change so that they can level up their looks and be able to experience more of the delightful side of female nature because there's good and bad to everything, guys. I'm not saying don't be aware, but just understand there is a delightful side to female nature and you will experience more of that the more handsome and attractive you become. I'm just gonna keep it a stack with you. You will experience this. And anybody that says this is not true, you don't got it like that, even though you may tell yourself that. You don't got it like that. And women haven't treated you in a nice, sweet, and friendly way because they don't look at you like that physical, attractive man. And here's the thing. Don't come up in here saying none of this is true. Women aren't nice, sweet, friendly. Yeah, they may not be nice, sweet, and friendly to you, but they are to me and my titans, man. So just because you may experience one form of reality doesn't make it to where everyone else is experiencing that same reality. Just because you experience one reality doesn't mean that's the only reality that you can experience and you have the ability to transition from one reality where maybe you are getting jacked up out here. You don't have women checking for you like that. You don't have women being nice, sweet and friendly to you yet. But I'm telling you, once you do level up your looks and you become the most handsome, attractive version of yourself, bro, I'm telling you, they're going to be a lot more nice, sweet and friendly to you. Understand that a handsome, and attractive man is a rarity and that the more fine and sexy you become in the woman's eyes, right? In their words, if, if a woman is calling you fine and sexy, she definitely thinks that you are that dude. She definitely finds you attractive and you're going to receive better treatment because of it. Because guys, I personally, and, and no one can debate me on this because I've personally seen women be in their masculine, finesse out of shape, ugly, overweight men for free drinks as a sport, as a game to see how many free drinks they can get compared to their friend who's also doing the same thing, but yet then approach me and being their feminine, telling me how attractive that they found me and how they approached me with their friend because they were intimidated by me and they were talking all nice and sweet. No, they didn't ask me to buy them a drink at all. They were the one initiating the conversation. They were the one pushing up on me. They came to me while I was chilling and minding my own business, even though I saw them doing all this. I saw them going around the bar doing this and finessing these dudes. But yet when they come up to me, they treat me completely different. So for you dudes who are gonna try to act like this isn't true, that's just because you don't experience stuff like this. It doesn't mean that's not a reality, though. So I'm telling you, women, when they find you physically attractive and handsome, bro, they're going to treat you well. They're going to be a lot more nice, sweet, and friendly towards you 
than a man that they don't find that attractive, right? Especially if that dude is bothering them and being all up on them and all this stuff. She's gonna make it known that she doesn't find him attractive and that she doesn't wanna be around him, right? But again, when you become a handsome, attractive man, you're going to experience more of a delightful treatment from women. So that's number three. Number four, women will be nervous around you, man. And this was something that it took me a little bit to wrap my head around this when I first really started to experience this type of treatment from women. But when you are an attractive man, women will be nervous around you. Why? Because again, they're not used to being around handsome, attractive men, especially because they may think that by and large, they'll think that man is an asshole, that he's a jerk, that he's into himself, that he's arrogant and cocky. And the reason why they believe that is because they're also assuming that he has a bunch of women just clinging for him, hitting him up and checking for him. So in the sense, they know that he has a reason to be that way. So therefore, they're going to assume that he's that way. And I don't think you should come off like that as a handsome man. I don't think you should be like that. You should be cool, man. Be kind. Be more down to earth. I'm telling you, that works. That works more than trying to be the handsome, attractive man that is the hyper mass masculine alpha dude. And I've been telling you guys who are returning subscribers and viewers of mine that Bruce Wayne persona only works in the comics, the TV shows, the movies, the Arkham games. It only works in the fictional world, not the real world. Like I'm telling you, if you are a, a handsome and attractive man and you're cool, you're a good dude, you're kind and you treat everyone well, I'm telling you that world is your oyster. And that whole persona is just a marketing strategy. Just going to keep it a stack with you. So that stuff isn't real. That's why I talk about Nightwing too, because if we're going to really talk about Arkham Archetypes and trying to implement an archetype in the real world, like Nightwing, Dick Grayson, the first sidekick of Batman. In my opinion, he's the most realistic archetype to implement in the real world because he's a good looking dude. Obviously, he is built like a tank. He knows how to fight, but he's also charismatic. He's lighthearted. He's cool. He knows how to be serious and mature and stoic, but he also knows how to make people feel good and make people laugh and want to be around him. And he's a leader, right? And obviously, he gets the most women in the DC comics for a reason. So if we're going to be going off of archetypes, his archetype makes the most sense and is the most successful based on my experience. So just keep that in mind. But you'll notice that they're nervous around you because they'll either tell you outright, like you make them nervous. They'll tell you outright that you intimidate them. But more covert ways of being able to pick up on this is that you just notice this in their speech, like they'll stutter or they're going to repeat their words because they're just nervous, right? Or you'll be able to tell in their body language, like they'll be slightly shaking or trembling just because they're nervous, which again, this is why you got to be cool, calm, collected, be warm to these women, man. I'm not saying be a simp. I'm not saying be this goofball or something like that, but just be kind to them, dude. Just let them know, hey, you're all good. There's no reason to be nervous. Like it's just us two talking. Everything's cool. Something like that. Just assure them that it's fine to talk to you and that although you are a handsome man, you are also a person as well and they don't have to be nervous. You know what I mean? But you do want to lower their guards and just make them comfortable, man. Don't manipulate them. Don't use this against them. That's whack. That's immature, to be honest with you. And men like this, men who, even though they may be good looking, handsome, and attractive, but are really assholes in the sense where they treat people wrong or they manipulate people, they don't do right by people, those dudes don't get far. And who cares what people on YouTube that are angry, that have been getting effed up out here in the dating space and stuff tell you? I'm telling you, that's not the way to go. So that's number four. Number five, women will insist on covering the bill while you are on a date. And some people may say like, oh, well, this is an act of the girl trying to be masculine and they're trying to pull a power move on you and have you in their frame. Listen, is that a possibility? I'm sure. But if the woman has been nothing but feminine, sweet, just bringing good vibes and good energy, this is more so going to be an act of appreciation for being on the date with you, spending time with you, than it is trying to be masculine and, and have you in their frame and all this stuff. And you're going to be thinking that because that's what all these other dudes talk about, right? Not because that's what you actually believe. Again, you're going to be thinking this because that's what these other dudes have told you in their videos and talk about, but not because you actually believe that. And at the end of the day, especially in 2024, and this is going to be even more relevant as time passes, women want your genetics, bro, not your money. Again, I'm going to repeat that. Women want your genetics, not your money. And they've been wanting that for men since the beginning of time, since, you know, we got here on this earth, right? 
They want to reproduce with men who are going to provide them with the healthiest, most fit offspring possible, aka your genetics, right? Women got their own money. They're making six figures now. Hell, a lot of women are making multiple six figures and are making more money than men. They don't need your money for shit. If you lead with it, if you're willing to give it away like these simps do, yeah, they'll take your money because you're offering it and you're offering it for free. And most of these dudes, like they just get off from women just taking their money and finessing them. I'm sure they do, right? But what can women only get from you that they can't provide themselves? And that's your genetics. So women want your genetics, not your money. And when you are a handsome, attractive man, they will display that by being willing to cover the bill. Does that mean you should let them? No, I don't. But they truly got to be insisting, not just say, hey, let me cover this. No, it can't be just like that. Like they need to be insisting, almost not necessarily fighting you on it, but like really trying to persuade you to let them pay if they're doing that and they're doing that in a feminine, sweet way. And they've been sweet and feminine the entire time leading up to that interaction. They're more than likely doing this because not only do they find you physically attractive, but it's their way of showcasing appreciation for spending time with you. So that's number five. Number six, women will find subtle or even bold ways to touch you, right? So when women find you attractive, they will find subtle or bold ways to physically express the fact that they find you attractive by finding ways to touch you, simply put, right? And ways of subtly touching you can be they'll touch your shoulder, they'll touch your knee, they'll touch your hand, etc. while they're either laughing, they're talking to you on the date, or maybe they're about to get up and go somewhere like to the bathroom or something like that. They'll subtly touch a part of your body. And that's just a way of them making that physical connection with you as far as breaking that physical barrier, if, if you will, and just getting used to touching you, right? It's like they can't resist touching you because they just find you physically attractive, man. Now, bold ways of touching you is like feeling on your muscles and like squeezing your muscles, rubbing up on your abs. It won't happen as often, but it can still happen. And then a bonus is that they'll let you touch their hands and their knee or play with their hair. So like if you're, you know, touching their hands and touching their knee or playing with their hair and they don't resist you, they don't move away when you do that and they just let you do that because they like the fact that you are touching them, that again goes to show you that they find you physically attractive. So those are just subtle or bold ways that they're going to touch you, which is just an expression that they find you physically attractive. So that was number six, moving on to number seven. So you can wear bummy clothes like hoodies, crew necks, sweatpants, etc., like athletic wear, and women will still find you attractive. And this is why I preach that men should dial in their looks facially and body wise and practice body game because those two aspects of your physical look, which is pretty much what makes you physically attractive, right? That's what determines your physical attractiveness by and large. Those two things is what's going to generate 80% of your results when it comes to attracting women and being able to capture the attention of women. Then the remaining 20% of that will be fashion, style, accessories, etc. However, Fashion, style, and accessorizing become less important the more physically attractive you are. The less important it is how fly you are or how drippy you are in terms of your overall fit and stuff like that. Not saying don't dress. Yes, you still want to look dope. You still want to look fly, but you can still get away with wearing more chill, bummy clothes like athletic wear, as I described, and still being able to attract women to you, still have women find you attractive. Like even if you're not the flyest dressed guy in the room, you can still beat the guy who may be the flyest dressed guy, he may be wearing the luxury brands, etc. if you are more attractive than him physically when it comes to your face and your body because you're looks maxing, because you're practicing body game. So moving on to number eight. Number eight, women that you meet online via social media or dating apps, they will tell you that you look better in person. Yes, that you look better in person because if women really find you attractive, one of the ways that they'll compliment you, it's a subtle compliment, but they'll be like, oh, like you look even better in person. Or at the very least, they'll say that you look the same in person as you do in your photos, which that can also be a compliment too if you're pictures are slightly edited or edified, as I like to say, where your pictures are a bit edited, but they are just simply presented in a way where you look really good in your pictures, like your pictures position you in the best light possible. If you have really good pictures and the girl says that you look just the same as you do in your pictures, that's still a compliment because either way, she's saying that you look good, right? She's saying that you are an attractive man. So just keep that in mind. This is going to be more of a subtle compliment, but it's a compliment nevertheless. And a bonus to this is that women will actually be in disbelief 
that you're not a catfish. I remember I had a FaceTime call with the girl who swore up and down that I was a catfish. And then I told her, I was like, okay, bet, let's FaceTime and I'll prove to you easily that I'm not a catfish. When I did, she was like, oh my God, you are real. So if you're getting those type of reactions where number one, girls think that you're a catfish, yeah, dude, they, they think you are a handsome and attractive man. And then number two, if you actually prove it to them by doing like a FaceTime call, they're gonna be in disbelief and shocked. Oh my God, like you are, you are real. That's just gonna let you know right then and there that they find you physically attractive and that they find you more attractive than how you view yourself, man. So that's number eight. Moving on to number nine, women will make conversation with them a lot easier and just simply more effortless and more organic and natural. So a lot of men think they have to be very good conversationalists when it comes to going on dates with women and talking to women. And to a large degree, you do need to, but a lot of men also think that the conversation is a one-way street and it's just up to them and not the woman, right? And simply what I'm just saying is that it takes two people to have a conversation. So you'll notice that when a girl or a woman is physically attracted to you and she's really into you, she's going to make it easy for you to talk to her. The conversation is going to flow effortlessly. You're not going to have to think so much about what to say because the natural vibe and the chemistry of the conversation is going to do a lot of the heavy lifting for you and her as well as the natural attraction that you two have for one another, not just physically, but of course, chemistry-wise. Chemistry and vibe is just as important, but unfortunately, most men aren't going to be able to be in the positions to even experience this or express what makes them unique internally and what they have to offer internally in terms of being a good dude, a good solid dude, having a good personality, maybe even being charismatic to a degree. A lot of men, unfortunately, aren't going to be able to have the chance and the ability to showcase these things because they're getting passed up physically. It's just like what they talk about in the business world. You can have the best product in the world, but if no one knows about it, what good does it matter? You know what I mean? It's the same point here. That's all I'm saying. And you'll see that women will just keep the conversations going. They'll be more willing to fill in the awkward pauses or the silences that you may have throughout the conversation, which is normal. They'll even ask you intriguing questions that will get you to really think. And they'll enthusiastically ask you questions about yourself and simply want to get to know you. But overall, you're going to notice that the conversation is just going to be so much easier. It's going to flow effortlessly. You're not going to feel like you're really trying hard to have a good conversation or you're not going to feel like it's pulling teeth to have a good conversation or simply have a good date with the girl, right? You're not gonna feel any of those ways because she's gonna be adding to it and she's gonna be picking up her weight of the conversation and adding to it. And you guys are just gonna be bouncing off one another. And like I said, large part of that will be due to her physical attraction towards you and the chemistry and the vibe that you two share. So that's number nine. Moving on to number 10, women will initiate the conversation with you. And I'm talking more in the sense of texting you and she's gonna reply to you fast. So women Women, from what I've seen, when they are definitely highly interested in you and find you very physically attractive, they're not going to have any problem initiating the conversation with you through text. They're not going to make it seem like it's pulling teeth to talk to them, to add to the conversation. Similarly to the last point when you're having a conversation with the girl, more so in the context of being in person with her, going on a date with her, especially if it's the first date, etc. The same principles will be applied when it comes to texting them over the phone, right? They're not going to make it hard for you to have a good conversation with them. However, I do recommend that you save more of your conversation for in-person interactions than texting back and forth. It just makes more sense to talk to the woman in person and use the phone as a way to really facilitate dates, reconfirm that you guys are going to go on a date, etc. So that's just a side note. But you'll even notice that women will reply to you fast even when it took you multiple hours to get back to them. So keep that in mind that even when you're not on your phone because you're actually busy, you're actually putting in the work, you're actually either at your job or you're working on a project, you're working on your purpose, you are at the gym, you're training in a martial art gym or whatever it is that you're doing, when you're actually genuinely busy and it genuinely takes you time to get back to her, you'll notice that even if it took you like three hours to text her back, she'll text you back within five or 10 minutes. And that just shows that, again, she has high interest in you. She finds you physically attractive. And I actually really like women like this because it tells me that they have a level of maturity to them, in my opinion, because everybody knows about this text game where it's like, okay, this person took three hours. Let me take three and a half hours to get back to them. Like people will do silly stuff like this, but women that have no ego, and like I said, they have a level of maturity to them to not play these games, they're going to be the ones that are going to text you back 
because again, they have a level of maturity to them and because they are highly attracted to you. So that's number 10. Moving on to number 11, women will choose you and they will make it obvious that they're choosing you. I'm telling you, when you are that dude, when you level up your looks, guys, women will give you the choosing signals right? And women, they'll flash eye contact at you. They'll look at you. They'll make direct eye contact with you. They may flash a smile at you, whether it's a big smile or it's like a slight smile. Either way, it's going to be some form of a smile to indicate a level of warmth invitation for you to approach and that they find you attractive. Now, personally, I would look for them to do this multiple times, at least two times, like two to three times that lets you know, like, hey, they find you physically attractive, they want you to approach them. Or another way that they'll do this is that they'll look at you as they're slowly turning their head towards their friend. So let's say like they look at you, right? You guys make eye contact. They'll do this, they'll be like, right? They'll do just like that. Yeah, blah, 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 yeah. Like they'll be looking at you as they're talking to their friend and like moving slowly like that. If you see them doing stuff like that, that means that they're choosing you. You caught their eye. They find you physically attractive because they're not doing that with just any dude. You know what I mean? Like if they're doing that to you, if you see them doing that, especially if you see them do that multiple times because they find you physically attractive, bro, they find you more attractive than maybe how you view yourself. You know what I mean? And they'll even hold long stares at you accompanied by a smile or again a slight smirk so if they're like staring at you just staring at you for like one to three seconds which doesn't seem like it's long but it kind of is and they smile at you and they kind of motion you to come here like they look at you for a little bit they smile and then like slowly move their head to face a different direction but then they look back at you still looking at you still holding like a one to three second stare and then they're smiling at you they're in this sense motioning you to come approach them because they're giving you a choosing signal and they find you physically attractive just understand that women will choose you and they will make it obvious that they're choosing you and then number 12 women will cold approach you when they think that you are that dude when they find you physically attractive you are that handsome man you are fine you are sexy in their eyes they will approach you and a lot of dudes think that this isn't true it's because by and large you're just you're not that dude that it can generate this type of attention granted this attention and treatment is still rare don't get that twisted it's still rare but anyways when women think that you are that dude like this is going to be one of the most blatant signs that women think that you are physically attractive that you are handsome that you are fine and sexy in their eyes and they will approach you however there is going to be a time and place for a man to cold approach a woman if she just she's so caught up with her friend group or whatever or just for whatever reason doesn't notice you then maybe you have no choice but to cold approach her in that regard it just still makes sense in my opinion to have women come to you because those are just always going to be the best interactions things that want to come to you people and opportunities that want to come to you are the best opportunities for the very reason that they want to come to you simply put right and like i said if you're going to cold approach be strategic be more like a sniper but understand guys like women will approach you when they find you attractive they will approach you they will be ruthless to do so right now usually how this will go is that they'll either approach you directly or they will approach you directly with their friends or they will send their friends to approach you and they'll usually be tipsy or drunk when they do approach you because they're going to be nervous because again you are a handsome attractive man they think that you're going to deny them that you're going to reject them because you are handsome and attractive they assume that you have other women therefore they believe that you are in abundance which then puts you in a position where you are more than likely to deny them and reject them because of the pre-selection that they are assuming that you have because they find you physically attractive so therefore they are scared to be rejected by you which is understandable right i get it i totally get it so that's usually going to be the context in which that they will do this so just keep that in mind. And, and I know most men aren't going to be able to experience this. Most men aren't going to experience this because they're not going to put in the work to try to experience this. And they're very limited thinking with their mentality and their overall mindset. So I, I get that 100%. But for my Titans who are all about leveling themselves up, not just externally, but internally too, and putting in the work to become the most handsome, attractive versions of themselves externally and internally, I know you guys are going to be able to make this a reality. And again, if you guys want help making this a reality as far as maximizing your looks and having beautiful, attractive women come to you, on autopilot like how i've been able to help men do the exact same thing with iab then i would highly suggest that you guys check out my free training again i'll have a link down below in the description and the pinned comment i go much more in depth with everything that i've talked about in today's video i go in so much more detail in that free training so definitely check it out i put it in a lot of hard work to make it for you guys because i know it's going to be valuable to you so definitely check that out after this video and with that being said, if you got a lot of value from this video, please give it a like, subscribe for more videos like this. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.